Can you explain the folder structure and bootstrapping in Angular? In Angular, the folder structure and bootstrapping process are important parts of the project setup. Here is an overview of these concepts. Folder structure When you generate a new Angular project using the Angular CLI, it creates a default folder structure for you. Angular has a well-defined folder structure that is designed to help developers organize their code in a way that is easy to manage and maintain. The most common folder structure used in Angular is the following. Here is an example of what that structure looks like. Let's briefly go over what each of these folders and files are. E2E, this folder contains end-to-end -end tests for the application. Node underscore modules, this folder contains all the dependencies for the application. When you run npm install, these dependencies are installed into this folder. src, this is the main folder for your application's source code. src app, this folder contains the main components and modules of your application. src app app.component.ts this is the main component of your application, which contains the logic and behavior for the root component of the app. SRC app app.component.html This is the template for the root component of the app, which defines the layout and content for the component. SRC app app.component.css This is the CSS styles for the root component of the app. SRC app app.module.ts This is the main module of your application, which declares the components and services that are used in the app. SRC assets This folder contains any static assets, such as images or phones, that are used in the app. SRC environments This folder contains configuration files for different environments, such as development and production. SRC index.html This is the main HTML file for your application. SRC main.ts This is the main entry point for your application, which bootstraps the app module. SRC styles.css This is the main CSS file for your application. Angular.json This is the configuration file for the Angular CLI. Package.json this is the configuration file for npm, which contains information about the dependencies and scripts for the app. tsconfig.json This is the TypeScript configuration file for the entire project. tsconfig.app.json This is the TypeScript configuration file for the app. tsconfig.spec.json This is the TypeScript configuration file for the tests. Bootstrapping Bootstrapping in Angular refers to the process of starting up the application and loading the main module, app module, of the app. This process is initiated in the main.ts file, which looks like this. Here, we import the platform browser dynamic function from the at Angular platform browser dynamic package, which is responsible for compiling and bootstrapping the app in the browser. We also import the app module from the app.module.ts file, which is the main module of the app. Then, we call the bootstrap module function and pass in the app module as an argument. In this example, the platform browser dynamic method is used to create a platform for the application to run on. The bootstrap module method is then called to bootstrap the app module. The app module is the root module of the application and it is responsible for importing all of the other modules and components that make up the application. Once the application is bootstrapped, Angular takes over and starts handling user interactions and rendering the application on the screen.